entrance from Africa, I sat in town and I <coughs> listened and I gave them this and the schools up here. Thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Bill McCabe and my company is Surface Station Vending Equipment. And I provide you point operated air machines and vacuum cleaners that you've seen a lot of yesterday. I've been in business for 33 years. I live right here with Old Block and I work in Rosedale. So I have 30 employees and I have one of my guys here with me. It's a family owned business. My son works for me. My son, my son-in-law and daughter are moving back to Long Island from Boston. We were just talking about that. And my son-in-law is going to be working for me until he finds a new job in his career. Um, what's happened recently, we don't know why the town of Hempstead is really uh, cracking down on, on this free air business. I had a provision where I did offer free air if someone requested it. And that, and that was from 1995 until now. I'm sorry, 1991, so it's 25 years that, that I had that agreement. Something happened, the supervisor got above, and he's, he's without understanding the repercussions of what he's doing, he's going to potentially put me out of business. And I, you know, I provide a valuable service to the community, anyone who drives, or kids who use bicycles, and so on and so forth. So I brought up some props here just to explain that air is not free. You know, in fact, many, many years ago, and there was a typical service station that we were all used to 40, 50 years ago. They had to throw a hose out and you got in. Only when they were open, usually. And it was dangerous anyway, because it put out a lot of pressure, but there was air available. The, the old, old style gas stations were long gone, and now you have convenience stores. They don't have those compressors there. So, my machine, they never need a tight machine, but they all have a built in compressor in them, like this, that's uh, available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even if the gas station is closed. We run a dedicated electric line to every machine to ensure that people get reliable service 24-7, whether the station is open or not. So this is in every machine, and this is about $400, just this part of it. And these last a couple of years, and they wear out and they have to be replaced at my cost. My, my deal with the gas station is I manufacture the machine, I install the machine, I maintain the machine, and they get a couple of bucks that come out of it. But all of the maintenance falls on my, my shoulders and the shoulders of the men who work for me. Anything that happens to the machine, it could get hit by a truck, a car, a snow plow, which happens all the time, we take care of it. And that's why my machines, are providing that we get a call, a fix usually the same day. We do 50, 60, 70 calls a day repairing air machines and vacuums throughout this area. So this is about $400. This is a hose that's attached to this compressor. It's a heavy duty wire reinforced hose. And you know, you see that. This is a hydraulic hose capable of, of 2,500 uh, 2, PSI. So, but it's much, much heavier duty than I need. It's wire reinforced, so it lasts longer. And it's hard to cut. You know, you, you, need, a, you need bulk cuts to cut this. These, these are replaced a couple times a year or, or as they're stolen. And this is about $60. <clears throat> the next thing is a fire inflation gauge. These are on the end of every every hose, providing them that's stolen every night. This is about 30 bucks. And typically, you, you, it gets stolen, you put a new one on the next day. Oh, there's another new one, I'll take that one too. But we, we try to put these on every machine because people need to know how much pressure is in their tires. And these are 30, 35 bucks. And every, every one of these has to have a guy do it, so there's a cost of fuel and time for somebody to put this stuff on a machine. This is a timer. This timer regulates how long a machine works. These go, and every couple of years, like anything else, these are about $100, and they have to be replaced. And the last thing, these are all major components. There's a lot more going on. This is the coin shoe assembly. Um, it has Two slots in it, there's a coin jam on one side, the other side can be used. This is all stainless steel, we make it here on Long Island, and this is 150 to 200 dollars. So I'm just trying to give you folks an idea of what, what it costs to provide air. I should, I should call it compressed air. It's not, it's not air, it's compressed air. Just like ice is not water, it's frozen water. So if anyone has any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. I, I, I know you know, free air, every air should be free. Well, there's, there's a cost uh, associated with that, probably about $2,000 a year for a service station if he was to put in a machine to provide free air. 
you know, he'd, he'd be responsible for all of this, and he would not be making any money. So uh, naturally, the machines would always be broken. So if there's a, a financial incentive for uh, somebody to repair a machine and call the service call in, it'll get taken care of. And you know, Steve is one of my key guys that have been with me 17 years. This is what he does. He does service calls all day long, along with 25 of my 30 employees. Ten of them live in the town of Hempstead. So basically, what's on the books in this town of Hempstead since 1978 is, is a law that gas stations have to provide for free act. That was 1978. <clears throat> and governments change, amend rules and everything. So for some strange reason, the, the, the town supervisor is, is being a stickler on this, and he wants them to provide for free act. But the problem I have with the thought process is, you don't mind, and one guy did this, but you don't mind them charging you for vacuum cleaning, which is air. Know, it's sucking in air. This is blowing out here. But again, this is a business. This guy's in business. He has employees. I, I think 75 cents is a joke when, when I tax it through the roof. I'm, I, I'm against any, any government trying to put more regulation or try to put people out of business. Basically, I don't think 75 cents being charged. Like, like people, there's nothing free today. You know? and, and so what the town is basically trying to do is put this gentleman out of business. I, I, I think it's wrong. Uh, I want to make a record that, that the town should either amend the law or get rid of it all together. Because what happened in 78 is not relevant today. So I don't think there's a hardship that people go to the gas station, go to the blue moon, and, you, and there are buttons on the machine to get free air. If you need free air, you can talk to the thing. But when you're spending upwards of $2 a gallon for gasoline, it was last year it was at $4 a gallon. I doubt 75 cents when you put $40 worth of gas in, in, your, in your car, you worry, worry about 75 cents. So, if, if you spent ten dollars a year putting air in your tires, that would be a lot of money. I, I don't think many people even have, even do that. And if you're putting a lot of air in your tires every week, or every month, using a machine, you need new tires. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, I just want to make the point to everyone that state New York State allows gas stations to charge for air, and it's under general business law, and the concept the the municipal home rule law says that a municipality cannot modify general laws and the town is trying to modify a general law and the way they're doing it is through zoning they're calling this 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 law to give free air is under zoning which they don't even have the right to do because it's not a zoning issue they they're through zoning, they're allowed to regulate the density of population, the height of a building, the lot size, but they can't, there's no place in the New York State zoning law that gives municipalities the right to regulate what a bar can charge for a beer or what an air guy can charge for compressed air. You know? and, this, and this is something we have to be very careful about. This is why I, I always caution people to stop screaming on Libya because if, if, we, if they enact this in the town of all that's going to do is create more business for Suffolk County and more, you know what I mean? So this is where we kind of we kind of hurt ourselves all the time when we fight against everything. But like, honestly, you know, businesses are there to, to make business and government regulation is what's killing our business in this country. And this poor gentleman here, I mean, the law was enacted in 78 when gas stations were different. I mean, all, all we all remember gas stations giving out free glasses and, and stamps and everything. But gas stations have changed. They changed for a number of reasons. A lot of people at least cars. And, and again, it's, it's ironic that they're targeting film tires, but they have nothing against the vacuum cleaner. So I, I think the government is overstepping their boundaries. And what would you like us to do? Well, if, if you were to contact the, the supervisor's office and, and just tell them that you're, you don't want to change uh, to, the, to the what's existing, and you don't support his, his proposal. Because they, they tabled it on Tuesday. By the way, there were about 100 people in support of, of my position, gas station people and, and some, some consumers, my employees, <clears throat> many, many uh, executives from the gas station organizations, some attorneys, and there was one person there in support of what the board was trying to do. One person. And it was a ringer. But uh, again, and, and, we, and what's going to cost us taxpayers, people don't understand, is that both sides will sue. Both sides will bring it, and it's going to cost us hundreds of millions of dollars for something that, that could be decided by the members up there. But, you know, our government, I, and I say this all the time, it happens in Albany, it happens here, 
We elect stupid people. We really do. You know, and I've said this a million times. They, they're blaming God, and I'll say this because they have education in that. It's not the teachers that are hurting education. It's not the education system. It's the politician, all their mandates, all their rules. Let teachers teach kids. You know, what, what public schools do, it, it, it reflects everything. What people don't understand about public schools. You want a perfect system like Belgium and other countries? Great. You can't educate every kid. Shamanah does phenomenal because Shamanah picks their kids. We want our schools to shine. We want our hospitals to shine. Hospitals are doing this already. You, ch you cherry pick what you want in your school districts, and then you can match what Belgium does. You know? So I'm sick and tired of telling uh, uh, our government, our educational system doesn't match up. Our, our mortality rate isn't that. You know why? Because in hospitals, we treat everyone. In public school, we educate everyone. That's what makes our country great. And I'm sick and tired of the government put, trying to put this guy, guy out of business, trying to make it so hard for teachers, like hard for doctors. We better realize what's going on in this country. We have the greatest country in the world because everyone has access to everything. And that's the problem. When you start, and I see this happen in companies, when you start matching up with com com countries that have 60 million people, we're never going to match up with that. Because our public schools educate every child, from kids who can't learn to the, to the brightest. But if you want to have a great education system, guess what? We can do it. Those kids can't get educated. If you want the best hospitals in the world, those people can't get treated. And now this, the government wants to put this guy out of business and 30 people out of business. Why? Because we can't afford 75 cents? They raise our taxes. And, and 75 cents is going to bankrupt. So understand, start attacking your politicians, but I've had it with them on both sides of the aisle. And entrepreneurs are not going to want to come right. to Nassau right. County and take the gamble and start a business right. because we, we will be legislated out of business. Yes. I mean, anyone here who started a business knows it's, it's the, 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 the deck is stacked against you Any business. I've been in, in the best of times. Yep. I've been doing this 33 years, and the, the obstacles that I've overcome most people would, couldn't even imagine. Maria. Except the government. <laughs> now, is it Nassau County or is it the town of Hempstead? Just the town of Hempstead for now, but... You, you okay. Know. No, I want to know who to contact. I want to know who to contact. Yeah. It's, Nassau, it's, it's the town of Hempstead right now. And I'm sure he has designs on his career and what he wants to do in the future. And this, he felt this must have been an easy target. But I think he got a lot more opposition than he felt he would. He did a press conference on Monday. He had a, a canopy over himself on Monday at a gas station, and then I started to get phone calls from media. So before you know it, last Monday night I'm on television. I'm a very private person. I, I don't speak in front of groups. So I was on television Monday night on three, three different TV stations, and Sunday I was on, on, on a segment on um, Exit 1055 on, on TV. My whole life is now an open book. I don't need people to know that I'm, I owe millions of dollars on my, my business, the SBA, and all those kinds of things that entrepreneurs endure to build a business. I, but here I am. We'll do what we can. I'll all right, thank you. Thank you. Yes. Um, do you serve as just the town of Hempstead? Or? No, I'm, I'm, my, my business is, you know, <clears throat> it's all over. I, I started in Queens all those years ago, and I built my business where I'm in multiple states. So how is it in the other towns? Connecticut has a free air law. No, I meant for your business. Like, are you the town of Oyster Bay has a similar ordinance, but nowhere else in the world. But something like this could snowball. Now it's unconstitutional and it can be fought on constitutional grounds, but what's that going to cost me? No, you know, I, I, I can't invest in my business anymore. I'm, I'm paying lawyers. What is it going to cost us taxpayers? I'm, I'm paying taxes in Florida Park for the politicians to use that money against me. Like, and I understand it's it's absurd. Absurd. the gas stations don't want it. In other words, they're happy with his service. They don't want to be stuck with buying a 2000 dollars machine and then it cost them money now. Because let's face it, they're not making what they made years ago because a lot of the service is taken away. So they're working on pennies too. So a lot of these people own these communities so don't want to provide free air. They like the, the, the agreement they have it here. So it affects not only his business, but it affects the guy that owns the thing. So again. They need the money up. If it's 40 or 50 bucks, they need that 40 or 50 bucks. And I needed to pay my guys and Parts, but they need 40 50 dollars for these people. There's a lot of money, their margins are very tight. So, I, I, again, you know, you, you're going to hear them complain about mandates, and you know, Dr. Ferry is here, you know, and, and it's true, you know, and, and I just heard another mandate in New Jersey. I mean, it, it, it's ridiculous. It's, unless we complain about this, we're telling the government, stop with the mandate, stop with this. They just, another thing, think of something else to do, and this was amazing. I was at the town in Hempstead, I wanted to speak, four hours tied up about 75 cents. Really, that's what it is. You get air in my diet. 
I mean, when we have so many pressing issues in account management, you know, this is what we're, this is what we're wasting time. It's really, it's really insanity. It, it really is. But thank you for your time. Thank you very much. We'll make phone calls. Thank you. Uh, we agree that uh, with the chairman and the right to say that we uh, support the East. He said, sir, support. Okay. I have a motion on the floor. I have a second. Okay. Well, we're all in favor. Anyone disagrees? Okay, we'll send a letter to the town of Thank you so much. We're behind you guys. Thank you. I don't want to see business. 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 This is get action. We get aggravated. You know what? We need business. We need business as a bike here on Long Island.